Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Traxxas 2.4 GHz radios, specifically the TQI and the TQ controller. The TQI controller is featured in most of the Traxxas brushless models. It features the I icon, the two red buttons on the top, and the place to put the Bluetooth module in the back. The TQ controller is featured in the brushed models. It does not feature the eye at the end of the icon. It has a single red button and no place to put the Bluetooth module in the back. The receivers are specific to their transmitters, so the TQI controller will require a TQI receiver, while the TQ controller will require a TQ receiver. Using the incorrect receiver with the radio will result in failed binding. I wanted to draw our, your attention to our test box here in the middle. We built this test box with known good equipment so that we can identify bad equipment in RC cars. This also works for planes as well if you're into that. Our box features a speed controller, a motor, a battery, a servo, and a receiver. Now this receiver is used with a very old version of the Traxxas controller. If you have one of these 27 megahertz radios, it's probably time for an upgrade. We wanted to start the troubleshooting by demonstrating the most common error we see, and it's actually a blinking light on the controller. I've rigged up this so that I can demonstrate that to you as an error. So this rapid blinking red light is indicating that it's time to change your batteries. The next error we see is actually in the receiver itself. And this happens when the receiver doesn't have a signal from the controller. It lights up red and then will begin blinking red. Sometimes they blink immediately, sometimes they take a second as this one does. If you experience that rapid blinking red light, there's a pretty simple fix. So we're, gonna, we're going to rebind the transmitter and the receiver. So we'll start by holding the set button down, powering this on until it blinks. The next step that we'll do is, is we'll hold the, the button, the link button, just in front of my thumb here and power on the transmitter. Now you'll notice that light turn green, as did the light on the transmitter, so you have a successful bind. If you don't have a successful bind, then it is time to power off your equipment and do it again. If you let enough time elapse, it will fail to bind. The next problem we see within the TQ controller is there is a secret menu that is not featured within your manual. It's fairly easy to access that menu when you're binding. So we'll power this off, hold the set button, and power it back on. You'll notice that light is blinking, but given enough time, it will go into the secret menu. The light will begin blinking green. If you've entered this calibration menu for your controller, so this is also useful if you turn your steering and nothing happens, or you pull your throttle and nothing happens. You set this by turning the steering left and pressing the button, turning the steering right and pressing the button, and notice every time you press the button, something new happens with the light. Pull the throttle, press the button, push the trigger, press the button, and solid green. So that has solved an issue if you do find that your steering or your throttle is not functioning after you bind. If you find that you have bound and the vehicle is operating but you're steering right and it's turning to the left or you're pulling the throttle and it's going in reverse, you need to reverse the direction of your servo. In the TQ radio it's very simple. You'll hold the set button down and you'll wait until the light blinks. You'll turn the steering and press the button. That is just reverse the direction of your steering. It's done the same with the throttle, so you'll hold the set button, pull the throttle, press the set button, and you've just reversed the direction of your throttle. This red button you'll find is used for the Traxxas onboard audio system, and if your throttle is not operating, the switch may be in the down position, which is going to allow you to rev the audio without the throttle working. So before you go and adjust anything, make sure that this switch is in up position on the Traxxas slash audio. Unfortunately, there are no such simple menus in the TQI controller. 
these two red buttons will allow you to navigate the menus in order to change those things. But it does require you to read through a fairly complicated instruction manual, which we'll cover at a later date. Your other option is to use the, the Bluetooth module that you can plug in the back of your controller. That allows you to use a smartphone app, and you'll see here you can reverse the servo directions if you wish. And we'll also cover that at a later date. Well, that's it. That is your basics of binding and troubleshooting on the TQ controller. And as I mentioned with the TQI controller, we'll cover that at a later date. One last tip before we go. Always make sure that you power your transmitter on first and then power your receiver on second. When you power everything off, power your receiver off first and your transmitter off second. Doing this will ensure that you don't have runaway vehicles. Although it's pretty rare in 2.4 gigahertz, it's still a good practice to get in. If you've learned something from this video and benefited from it, please consider subscribing. That way we can do more videos. I hope this video has helped you in some way, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.